Hello, I am Molly Lalone, the Executive Director for the Lake Orion Downtown Development Authority. I'm here today to provide you with information about the proposed Lake Orion Lumberyard project. I am joined by Scott Reynolds from AK Air Architects and he's going to walk us through all of the details. Before we get into the presentation, I want to give you just a brief history of how um, the Lake Orion DDA has been an economic development partner for the community. Starting out with um, the downtown streets and sidewalks and parking, um, also the business incubator project that we did on the north end of the downtown area, it is now Fork and Pint, and finally um, we are the first community in southeast Michigan to create a social district. The Lake Orion Lumberyard project um, is, the purpose of it is to create a gateway space on the south end of downtown. We uh, want to honor the character of our community and preserve our heritage and our stories. We want to provide more parking for the downtown and we want to balance all of this with pedestrian and events friendly amenities and improve the safety and ease of the accessibility at the corner of Atwater and M24. We are planning to address environmental issues that are present on the property um, and build a foundational infrastructure on this property. And we're going to invest in a multi-phase plan which will help us clearly identify the parameters of all the amenities. So it's a long-term plan. And finally, we're planning to augment the funding for this project by seeking private and public partners who can help us achieve this vi vision for the Lake Orion Lumberyard project. To pay for this project, we have explored some different funding sources and have chosen to request support from the Village Council for a $5 million bond. With this project, taxes will not go up. Um, taxpayers are absolutely protected by DDA law, and TIF revenue at this time is more than double the estimated bond payment, so the DDA is absolutely able to pay for this project and public interest is always the priority of the DDA, and I want you to answer, ask this question, what is the priority of a private developer? Scott, would you like to talk more about the details? Thank you, Molly. Appreciate the opportunity to join you here today to talk more about your project. I'm Scott Reynolds with Augur Kleinaller Architects, and we're excited to be working with you guys through over the past number of months to make this a successful project. But before we get too far into the project, I wanted to talk a little bit about parking. We typically look at some of the existing information before we start into a design of a space to understand what the real needs are. And as you guys looked at in 2022, Rich and Associates took a parking study to understand where our parking counts and occupancy loads are in downtown. We had discovered that within three to five years and assuming that some of the vacant spaces are downtown that we'll actually be utilizing our parking system in excess of 85% something that we needed to consider future improvements to to improve um, our downtown parking situation. A couple of years ago, you guys did take a look in 2018 at, at minor improvements through the downtown of the idea of adding a parking deck to Children's Park. And we came up with the idea that that was uh, an additional 73 parking spaces for the downtown, but at an added cost to about $4 million to the downtown and to the DDA. Instead of proceeding with this project, you guys decided to pause and rework and understand how else that dollar value could be invested in the community and could there be better outcomes for those dollars spent versus a parking deck in Children's Park. So that led us to the Lumberyard site. As an opportunity site within the downtown Lake Orion, uh, we thought there was some opportunity to reinvest and, and to create something more that could contribute not only parking to the downtown, but also uh, many more community benefits. So just so you're familiar, this is at the corner of Atwater and M24, just before you go into downtown if you're going north on M24. The site is used for many years along what used to be the historical uh, train tracks that brought everyone in from Detroit. The property is located at the corner of Atwater and M24 and is currently zoned mixed use, which allows a number of different possibilities for the site, um, some of which we've seen in the past from other developers. So the existing lumberyard site has been there for a number of years. Uh, its current condition is varied and a number of the buildings need some investment or repurpose and repair. So I think there's a key opportunity here with this site to recreate, to redevelop and create a new image for downtown other than what you see here. 
Before we get too far into what we look for, what we see for a possibility for the Lumberyard site, we wanted to take a look at some of the other developer uh, proposals that we've seen in recent past. This site could be redeveloped by any other private developer and it could become a number of different things. One of the more recent proposals that we've seen was a three-story multifamily uh, proposal that include, included 94 units and over 24,000 square feet per building. Something that, although a great contribution to our community and providing more housing and residential space, we feel there's an opportunity there for uh, a better economic investment for a better return in our community, including public spaces, amenities, and, and potentially event space. Now, we didn't just develop our uh, priorities within a vacuum, we wanted to gain public input. Back in uh, October of 2022, we uh, invited the public out to a design charrette that we hosted at Village Hall and had a number of activities. It was hosted in one evening, about a couple, two or three hours in length, and everyone was allowed the opportunity to kind of speak their voice and provide their opportunity for what they see the Lumberyard site could be. We had a number of activities that allowed people to engage in the discussion in a number of ways, from drawing on mar markers on maps to putting stickers on, on photos, and then also creating lists of what we thought. Here's a couple of key opportunities that we thought were, were great as a takeaway from our design shred in October. Some people were looking to, to promote the walkability in downtown. They thought that was a great attribute along with our historic buildings that we have downtown. But they also wanted to encourage the access to parks, trails, and lakes. What we didn't think was working very well or what a lot of the community thought was we didn't have a dedicated event space and that's something that really became a big boilerplate for future opportunities in the site. But we also wanted to take a look at how parking could be a solution on this site for the greater part of downtown. Some of our favorite opportunities or favorite amenities that we have downtown was the, the Christmas lighted parade and different village events that we feel could be a great promotional opportunity for the Lumberyard site. And just to keep things fun and interesting, we added in a wild card decision to ask what else, if anything. We had some great ideas anywhere from a butterfly garden to water features to an amphitheater to uh, public art installations. And you'll see those are things that we all envision as part of our initial concepts. Some of the things that we wanted to draw ourselves with this site was uh, the idea that there could be a covered event space. We could promote uh, rooftop garden space, such as the uh, Flint Alleyway project. Uh, there could be an art walk, and maybe there's a way to tie in the historic railroad story of how we became who we are. Some of the things that we wanted to stay away from were too modern of building designs, overly large structures, and maybe too much hardscape. But we also wanted to improve things that uh, promoted our existing downtown events uh, like the Flower Fair and Dragon on the Lake. All coming out of this, we thought a permanent event space could be a great opportunity for the Lumberyard site. If we had a dedicated space, it might create more events downtown, it might allow the opportunity for events to flow better, and who knows, maybe just a fun space to hang out in downtown Lake Orion. So a couple opportunities when we discuss uh, of why we're approaching this project. There have been a number of other municipalities that in partnership with uh, their local government and the, their local DDA have developed and created projects. One of which we've been involved in was the Fenton Cornerstone project uh, just north of here. Downtown Fenton in 1960 tore down most of their downtown. Years later, they realized that that was a mistake and they wanted to recreate their downtown Main Street. The Development Authority in Fenton worked with the, the local municipality to work in partnership to create an economic development catalyst, hence the Fenton Cornerstone Project. It reestablished the Main Street character of their downtown. It was a private-public partnership, something that they envisioned or had an idea for, and then solicited uh, development or development partners in order to recreate this project and establish their downtown. Today, you see many other buildings going up because of this project and their economic investment that they made many years ago, I think back in 2014, has paid off tenfold and they've seen many other developers come in and see great interest in the downtown while still preserving their character of downtown Fenton. So now to the Lumberyard site concept. We've had the chance to work on some preliminary concepts, none of which are set in stone, but many ideas that we wanted to put down on paper. 
From the design shred, we talked about many ideas and we looked at images, we, we talked through ideas, and we spoke to many community members about what would they like to see in this project. And this is a slide that represents many of those components. In the lower left, you'll see the opportunity for maybe community gardens or that butterfly garden that I mentioned. What about additional uh, space that is off of the trail? We know the Paint Creek Trail is directly adjacent and has the opportunity maybe for outdoor patio space, seating, or maybe public art that you all see in these images. Maybe in the lower left, we incorporate additional components of our history. Maybe celebrate the idea that we used to be a vacation town, hence our motto, we're living as a vacation, and where we could bring in ties of why we became who we are today. The idea that we could incorporate additional event space was a, a, a key topic within our design shred and something that we've really held within our ex initial concepts. So the open air pavilion that you see in the upper left, potentially for event spaces, maybe a farmer's market, maybe it's just utilized for a place to stay out of the rain and, and maybe enjoy a beer during Dragon on the Lake. The plaza area could be directly adjacent and provide some nice outdoor park space. And we really would like to create a, a connection of uh, the, with the trail and create both walkability and mobility throughout the downtown with, with the lumberyard site. We're taking a look at a campus concept that would allow different hubs through the property create flow and walkability and mobility. So something that we're taking a look at is in the upper left hand corner we end up having a building proposed that would maybe create the, extend the downtown character through and down to the lumberyard site all the way to Leo's Coney Island at the corner of Atwater and Broadway Street. We have additional buildings shown here in red that would be additional economic opportunities for investment for a potentially one-story retail space, maybe a restaurant. You'll see a number of areas where we propose both future and banked parking along with proposed parking that could help provide solutions to our current problems and backup um, solutions to, to problems as they may develop in the future. One of the items that we're most excited about is the, the idea of the, the central open air pavilion, here shown in yellow orange. Something very large, it could support the events that we already have going on downtown, and it would provide the opportunity for additional events to occur without tying up downtown streets or creating um, restriction downtown. One thing to note is we, we did look at the parking downtown and this site has the opportunity to provide more spaces than what we had uh, proposed at the children's uh, parking deck project. So I think it's an opportunity of, of investment and a, a good return on our dollars if we're able to proceed with this project. So I wanted to talk a little bit about some of the additional site features that we talked about. Some of those inspiration images that we have to build upon our proposed open air pavilion. We have a number of bike racks shown in bees here. We have a number of public art installations and a number of areas where we're proposing additional seating, park space, and potentially community gardens or butterfly gardens. Those are shown in green here. A couple of things to note is that we are in incorporating the existing trailway project that's shown on the right hand side of your screen, along with promoting existing access and connection between the existing trailhead and our main street shown here in red. So we're very excited to be working with you, Molly, on this project and we're excited to be developing it further in the near future. And we hope to see everyone at the upcoming presentation. Um, thank you very much for watching through this informational presentation about the proposed Lake Orion Lumberyard project. If you would like to see this again and be able to ask us questions in person, you can come to an informational meeting that will be held on March 7th at 6.30 p.m. in the Village Council Chambers, 21 East Church Street. If you are not able to attend that meeting and you have questions, please contact us, the DDA office, at office at downtownlakeorion.org and say presentation questions in your topic. We will make sure to answer those questions that we receive during that presentation.